Hi, Elaine Fraze here coming to you from my farm in May. And why am I still wearing a ski jacket? Well, just the way it is. It's been an interesting spring, but this winter when I was speaking with young ranch families, they said, Elaine, help. Our parents are still in a lot of debt and expect us to be too. So for those of you who are old enough to remember when money used to look like this, um, perhaps you're the ones who are thinking, well, I don't want to transition until the kids um, prove to me that they can handle money. And in today's society, it may be the reverse. Actually, the next generation can only manage so much debt. And I just did a podcast recently with Farm for Profit when the banker um, interviewing me said, Elaine, I've never heard anyone ask the next gen how much debt they're willing to take on. And I thought, but isn't that common sense? So if this spring finds you quite tense about input costs, delayed seeding, uh, we're just trying to get going today now in the middle of May, uh, all these things and all these tensions, I have some tips for you to think about managing your debt. And the first one is to start talking about it between the generations. If it's really tight and you're seemingly going backwards, you might want to check out the website Debt Free North. And my friend Wayne Burr is there with a bunch of associates and he has told me interesting stories about parents bringing in their adult children for debt counseling and the reverse also happening where someone says, you know, Wayne, my mom and dad are out of control. Would you please um, give them some wisdom about how they can address their extreme debt situation. For 10 years, I was a debt mediation mediator with the Farm Debt Mediation Service. And that meant I sat on a lot of tables where farmers had to come to terms and reassess their terms with their creditors. So the Farm Debt Mediation Service is something else that you can also Google to help your debt situation. The other thing I would like you to think about is what is good debt and what is bad debt. And in the background there, you can see some of the equipment we have and just recently a salesman was on our yard wanting to sell us a new grain cart, which we don't really need. And the first one we bought was $28,000 a while ago. But the quote on this bill from the company was $200,000 for a new one. Uh, I don't think so, not gonna be happening. As you're looking through where things are stressing you out with debt, please start having financial transparency with the next generation. Dig into this insight that I'm offering you to you this month and let me know how our coaching team can help you have some of those financial transparent conversations. You need to have them today. And even though it's spring and even though you're trying to get the crop in, the time is now to start talking about money and getting clear on each generation's expectations because there are the next gen who don't want to service a lot of debt and definitely want their parents to keep keep looking for solutions and stop pretending that the front door is beautiful because as the irish say every front door is beautiful and you never really know what's going on till you get past that front door see you next time